And while the Tempest has only a lacquer finish, Comet's super enamel finish has greater initial hardness, holds its gloss better, and never needs waxing. Even more important, Comet's overall appearance presents a more finished look, the look of luxury that other compacts, including Tempest, just don't have. Why? There are many reasons. For one thing, only Comet has the precise proportions among today's compacts that permit fine car styling. And Comet's proportions and styling are distinctly its own. Tempest must use the same basic body as the Buick Special and Olds F85. So the Tempest's main styling task is to look different. Well, take a look at the Tempest's front end styling. The divided grille is different from the Special and F85, all right. Unfortunately, this styling idea, lifted from the full-size Pontiacs, just doesn't come off so well when compressed down to compact dimensions. Here's something else. One Tempest ad proclaims, Tempest is not a stripped-down big car. That's true. Tempest isn't really even a well-appointed small car. For instance, dual horns, dual sun visors, vinyl headlining, oil filter, bright metal windshield reveal molding, rear window reveal molding, body side molding, and automatic choke are all items that are standard on Comet, even at its lower price, but extra cost on Tempest. More than that, gun sight fender ornaments, bright metal drip moldings, super enamel finish, and bright metal instrument cluster are not available on Tempest at any price. Inside, Comet gives you die cast bright metal in both the instrument cluster and controls not Tempest. And Comet controls are labeled and illuminated for driver convenience in night driving. Tempest controls aren't even labeled. Comet's standard vinyl headlining is more durable and easier to keep clean than the cloth used in Tempest. In order to get vinyl headlining, the Tempest buyer must take the custom interior trim package at $69.94. Both cars use a combination cloth and vinyl upholstering. But Comet sensibly puts vinyl on the forward edges of the seats where the greatest wear is. Tempest only uses cloth there. And still another Comet extra is its attractive two-tone door panels. Tempests are monotone. They're cheaper to make and assemble, but unfortunately, they look it. Well, here again, when you consider better construction and finish, Comet really has it. Now, performance. 1961 Pontiac advertising implies that the Tempest is much hotter than other compacts. For instance, they refer to their, quote, Indianapolis type inclined four-cylinder engine. And they refer to it as, again, quote, an engine and not a putt-putt. And they claim it combines, quoting again, big car performance and small car economy. Well, maybe so. Here are the ratings. Cubic inch displacement, 195. Advertised horsepower, 110 to 150, depending on transmission, type of carburetor, and fuel used. Torque output, 190 to 215 foot-pounds at 2,000 to 2,800 RPM. Now that makes it a pretty big engine, an engine which probably cannot give the public the gasoline and oil economy they want when they buy a compact, economy which Comet's engines provide in full measure. And while the Tempest engine is in front, like Comet's, the transmission is in the rear with a bent drive shaft in between. Tempest's split personality drive train is as yet unproved and greatly dependent upon the ability of its curved drive shaft to hold up under all types of drivers and driving conditions across America. The optional Tempest engine for 1961 is the same new aluminum V8 engine that is standard in the old F85 and Buick Special. This engine is also still unproved by Mr. Average American Driver. With aluminum engines, you can't remove a spark plug safely until the engine is completely cold. Pretty inconvenient for the owner to have to wait till his engine cools to have his plugs removed, and pretty tough luck if an unknowing attendant strips the threads. Now, what does Comet offer? First, its standard thrift power six-cylinder engine. It's a proved engine, offering proved economy and proved performance. And second, a new optional Thrift Power 170 engine, providing extra power and performance with the same short stroke, low friction efficiency and economy. How much extra power? 
10% better passing performance at 50 miles per hour, 27% better merging performance, 20% better hill climbing ability, and an additional 10 miles per hour top speed. Performance? Better make sure it's proved, economical, dependable performance, as you get with the 1961 Comet. Now that's just as true of riding comfort. The 1960 Comet quickly became famous for its remarkable riding qualities, largely because of its longer than average compact wheelbase. Comet's 1961 wheelbase is 5.7 inches longer than the average compacts and two inches longer than the Tempest's. And new refinements provide an even smoother, quieter ride. Comet's new front suspension features big 10 coil springs to cushion the ride more smoothly. In the front suspension alone, there are 28 different rubber bushings and insulators to further improve the ride. One key place is this rubber cushioned strut which allows the front wheels to move back, up and over bumps without jolts or jouncing. This giving action is shared by the big 50-inch rear springs too. They have full-length rubber liners between each of their five leaves. And new oversized rubber bushings at the front mountings likewise permit controlled fore and aft movement over bumps. Not so the Tempest. It has smaller coil springs on all four wheels, which give only vertically preventing the softer, bump-taking movement that Comet wheels are noted for. So only Comet, among all the 1961 compacts, offers riding comfort surpassing even that of many standard size cars. And so, here again, Comet gets the vote for riding comfort. And that brings us to overall value. Now that's what you really look for in a compact car, and that's where Comet really shines not just in the proved economy and performance of Comet's overhead valve six-cylinder engines, not just because Comet's longer wheelbase makes it the only compact car with fine car styling, not only in the fact that item for item, Comet is the most fully equipped compact car in the industry today. Bearing all this in mind, remember all the additional cold, hard cash your customer saves right from the beginning when you compare Comet and Tempest suggested retail prices. $114 on four-door sedans, $85 on four-door station wagons, $169 on two-door sedans, and $128 on two-door station wagons. The simple fact is, your customers save dollars virtually across the board on Comet, on basic prices, options and accessories, operating economy, and many, many extra features that are standard on Comet and extra cost on Tempest. Comet simply gives you more car for your money, more features for your money, and more value for your money any way you look at it. So, the 1961 Comet clearly and simply represents greater overall value, America's best compact car.